Um, well, it's not even it yet? Buried secrets? The heck? Maybe just activate shrines like a normal person? Yeah, yeah. Nothing normal about this playthrough. <laughs> Can I get up on this rock somehow? Hmm. Actually. Gosh! <laughs> what the heck? Hold on. Whoa, 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 wait. Is that an opening? Can I? If I get the angle right, can I actually? Maybe I do actually want to blow up these blocks. Can I actually launch myself in there if I get a vertical bomb launch? Wait. I might actually blow these up after all. Wait, I don't need to. Is there a way that I can get on top of this though? Wait, is this a... It's a chest, That's a... is it a metal one? Whoa, 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 wait. You give me a freaking metal box and I'll break your shrine in half. I don't think that's metal. I don't think it is, but like... Oh! Bomb arrows do do way more. Taking way too long. Oh, we're, we're gonna go get this chest real quick, see what it is. See what's up over here. What you got? The wooden, I guess. Opal. Opal. Oh, and there's one here. Oh, we can maybe use, this is metal, we can maybe use it. I mean, oh, rubber armor. Don't I have like the full set though? Cause I bought it off of the, yeah, I, I, I'll sell one, I guess. I guess that's where you get one in the world in that case. Hold on. Hold on, a hot ticker here. Can I? Yeah. Yeah, I see this working. Probably. Right? Right? Pretty hype! Pretty hype if I do say so myself. Quite frankly. I love how it gives me the puzzle solved jingle and then it opens the gate. <laughs> oh man. This is a fun game. This is a fun game to say the least. I enjoy it. I do kind of enjoy this game. I like to hate on this game, but I also love this game. You know. May the goddess smile upon you. Yes, may she do that. All right, now we skip. That worked out so well. I was surprised that worked first try. Things rarely work first try for me. That worked so well. That would have worked even better if I timed like a backflip with it. You know, jump off the block while it's moving. That would have made it like extra hype. I probably should have done that. Whatever, too late now. What are we doing? I think we're out of... I think we're out of shrine quests that... We can actually, like, we already did this one. Well, we didn't do the quest, but we got the spirit orb for it, is what I mean. So, I think we've done all the shrine quests that I've accepted. And I haven't, like, stolen the spirit orb, but... Weird game. Weird game. Very strange game. But now it's not, like, thunderous over here. It's not thunderous over here anymore. Climb down. Thank you for the... Climb down prompt. So now what? I, I know that we have other side quests. I don't even know what the... I don't remember ever doing, like, side quests pretty much at all in this game. If they didn't result in a... If they didn't result in a freaking shrine. So I straight up don't know the other side quests at all. I know that all these EX ones are DLC, I think. Rumor has that there's a bridle that enhances a horse's skill and a saddle that can summon your horse right to you. Does this supposed ancient horse skill really exist? Apparently Highland Stable has a copy of Super Rumor Well EX which details some rumors about this super rare horse gear. Here? Cause like, the only DLC stuff that we really have is like the whole Champions Ballad stuff. 
I like the travel medallion, and I think that's it. I don't know if we ever went and, like, snagged anything else. I'm not quite sure whether that happened. Or right, 93 shrines. I don't remember which ones are left. I know the Blood Moon one is left. Would I really want to do all shrines in this freaking playthrough that isn't even really an official playthrough of this channel anymore? It's just the game that I continue when I'm bored at this point. But it happens enough that we might wind up doing all shrines eventually anyway. Super Rumor Mill EX is here apparently, huh? Hold on, I want to do the thing. I need to remember my glitch stuff. I need to remember how my freaking glitches work. Yes. Yes. I hear that there is a copy of Super Room Mill EX in here. Show me. <laughs> Super Room Mill EX Volume 3. I've loved rumors since before I was born. <laughs> in fact, I was the first to report on my rumored birthday. Tracy here. This time I've got a juicy bite of gossip I've been dying to share. Ancient horse gear is real and it's fabulous. Also, can I just say more games need to be able to have a movable camera while there's text on the screen. There's too many games out there where, you know, text is on the screen and you don't get to move the camera like this. Like why? Apparently there's some incredible horse gear from Hyrule's distant past. I'm talking the long, long ago folks. A bridle that increases your horse's skill and a saddle that can instantly summon your horse to your side. The bridle is south of Hyrule Ridge beneath a cherry blossom tree at a mountain where creatures gather. What the heck is Hyrule Ridge? Saddles a mysterious spring where a horse spear resides. At least that's what the rumors say. Sounds like ancients like to horse around. I need that gear. Jeez, recommendation, five stars. What's the... Wait, let's see here. One is supposedly under a cherry blossom tree at a mountain where cre creatures gather. Should I just Google this? Is that what I should just do? Like, I know the latter one. Breath of the Wild. Ancient horse rumors? I'm just Googling it. Screw it. Oh, gross. I clicked an IGN link. Why did I do that? Um, travel to the... Yeah, I did that. Um, let's see here. Satori Mountain and, yeah, the spring. Let's see here. So, Satori Mountain is... Was it this? It's this. And it's... By a cherry blossom here? Of some sort? Should I adjust this light a bit more? more away like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my freaking desk light there. Oh, there's a crow right here. Hi, crow. Smink. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you better run, crows. Wait, did it actually mark them on my map? No, it just marked the place for the rumor. Cherry blossom tree, huh? Cherry blossom where creatures gather. Maybe not anymore now that I smack a some crow. By the lake, maybe? Which is this way? Maybe by the lake? I don't see a cherry blossom. I don't see it. Hmm. Hmm. Interwebs? Um, let's see here. Located near the peak from Moglaton Shrine. Wait. It's marking the location at- Oh. Oh, it's marking the location, like, upwards. I think it might be that tree up there. That's what's going on here from what I'm- From what I'm seeing online. Is the thing. I know Epona couldn't hear my call, and that is perfectly fine. I wonder if the Master Cycle will be able to handle the slope. I do wonder. Yoink. I will gladly claim these for science, thank you. Up we go. Up, up, and away. 
Ah, so over... Oh, okay. A cherry blossom. Where creatures gather. They're not gathering right now, but... Aha! Aha! Can I just, like... Free bullet time for anybody who doesn't know that you can do that with a buried chest. Um, where did you... Over this way. Yeah, sure, let's grab this. Ancient Brittle. A mysterious brittle made with forgotten ancient technology. Equipping a horse with this will maximize their abilities, increasing the number of spurs associated with them. Huh. So I probably should have equipped that, like, way long ago. Since it's probably been available since the very beginning of the game, but I just haven't bothered to, you know ever track it down or find it or even really know about its existence really because I've known like nothing about the DLC of this game as a thing. Horseback battles. When fighting on horseback, use the L to focus your attention, making it easier to aim. Is it? When holding ZL? I mean... Whale? Yeah, so we can see about equipping this thing, Bob. Also, I might... Uh, uh, where the heck? Ah, I might do that just because and stuff. Sure. This is the look we'll be rocking for a little while, I guess. Can I sell that extra rubber armor to Beetle? I don't know why I couldn't talk to you again. What are the chances? Look what I've got. Let's see here. Um, because I don't need two. I do not need to. Thank you. Do I have duplicates of anything else? I mean, I think that those are one of a kind though, right? Oh, this is part of my Santa Link outfit. I don't think I need that anymore. I don't believe for my freaking Breath of the Wild Christmas special that I put together. I have two of these for whatever reason. Oh, I guess the one has like the slightly blue. I don't even know. I don't even know. Look at some anything else. Uh. Yeah, I think that should be a okay. Oh yeah, we have the Nintendo Switch shirt. If we want to like really mix things up, bam! Nintendo Switch. I changed my mind already. I changed it already. Paddock. So how do I put a riddle on? How do I do that? I, don't, I actually don't know how it works. Wait. Monster brittle? Monster saddle? Maybe I equip it while I'm like on a horse? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? Hmm. Maybe I equip it in the menu while I'm on a horse? There you go. Thanks for choosing us for other horse he needs. Yada yada. What do you mean? How does it work? How does it work? What the heck? I don't understand. I don't know how to break this game engine in two, but for some reason, I don't know how to freaking put on some, whoops. Somehow Link can literally break the entire physics of this world in half, but yeah, he doesn't know how to put a brittle on his horse. I didn't see any option with for it within the menu for the thing, Bob. I came to boarding a horse. I have no idea how it's done. And the game has not exactly, you know, been very clear on the matter to say the least. Well, I don't know. What's the freaking infinite horse stamina glitch again? It's like, no, I don't remember. I'm, I have to look into it again. You want to maybe not? I'm doing things. Leave me alone. I'm doing things out here. I'm a very busy lonk, you know? Very, very busy. Goodbye. <laughs> There's a chest, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't really care about that. I just want to be on my merry way, you know? So apparently this other thing, Bob, is here somewhere. Maybe, like, hidden around back? I forgot what the run button was again. Endurance room. 
cake. Oh, more Endura shrooms I didn't even notice. Where is the... There should be another chest here somewhere. Frog! Put it in my pocket! Put them in my pocket. The frogs! I just realized it's playing Pona's theme here. That's cool. Have I ever talked to you in this playthrough yet? I think I have. Have I not? Is this actually my first time talking to you? Okay, it's not. It's you again. Why have you sought me out? Surely no ill has befallen your beloved faithful steeds. Let me see. Hmm, I see you're good with horses. All seems to be well. The friendship you established with the horse really is extraordinary. Remember that such a friendship is a two-way road. Horses care for you as much as you do for them. Okay, uh, where is this thing? Where is the thing? Hmm. Hmm. Where is the thing, though? Like, I don't see anything metal anywhere around here. Am I really that blind? Free bullet time! Even though I took damage from that one, but... Whatever. Well... <laughs> my goodness. Ancient saddle. A mysterious saddle made with forgotten ancient technology. Equip a horse with this, then use that to call them when they are far away. Oh, that would screw with my whistle sprinting. So maybe it's something I wouldn't want to equip. But how do I equip it anyway? How does it even work? How do you... <sighs> I'll look it up before next time. Actually, I won't do it before next time. I'll mean to before next time, but then I won't. What the heck? Well. Well, there's that. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Adventure log. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Stars. Wait. Collaboration with Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which I guess also makes sense considering like the massive part that Monolith Soft had with this game. Uh, the southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge, the eastern skull from the skull's left eye, the southeastern sky from the peak of the tall Pierce Mountain sky. Wait. Look to the night sky at these locations and find the red shooting stars. I can't mark this one. The southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. Like Hylia's is pretty large. Is this a bridge? It's two bridges. Do I want to quickly try to do that? I think the Lake Hylia one is the biggest bridge. Maybe? Of course, there's just like, yep, he's just teleporting away as he does once again. Look at all them rupees. Sorry, Zelda, you don't have enough rubies. Cooking secrets, the more of a... <laughs> well. Yeah, I'll try this thing more bob from here so the bridge is that way wrong thing again the southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge do i just go there like the direct middle maybe oh this will send me so low maybe i don't know okay there we go i was patient enough and so I'm looking for stars? Or something? I love how the game has to like load because I'm making Link travel much faster than the game ever intended him to. Whoa! That was a very spicy launch. That was having me travel way faster than I thought it would. Oh, hi. Like, I didn't realize how close I was to the bridge already. I... That was like the best bomb launch ever. Jeebus. If only I could always get bomb launches like that. Southern Sky from the middle of the largest bridge. Southern sky. I'm at the middle of the largest bridge. What's this? What's this? Silver scale spear. Do I have a picture of whatever this is? Apparently, I do. I don't know, I might have interpreted things wrong? I don't know, I'm gonna go to Google again. Breath of the... The Wild Xenoblade. Chronicles 2? Sure, let's get, like, Rex's armor. Let's see here. So... You 
You need to travel to the locations mentioned in the clues, and once night falls, look to the stars until you spot a shooting star. Unlike regular star fragments, these will be tinged with red. Um, southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. Okay, so I got that right, but it needs to be, like, night, I guess. Stand on the bridge and look at the southern sky at night. So my issue here is it's not night? I might not be able to set up a campfire in the rain. I can try using a glitched flame blade. If I want to. Would a glitched flame blade still create a fire? It's smoking, so it's like successfully glitched. It's trying to like alight something. Would it cause a fire if it's glitched? I should don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have put that on it because that can make it clip through the world sometimes. Yeah, I don't think. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it says it's 5.10 p.m. at the bottom right there. Is there any place I can go to with, like, some cover to... But you don't, actually. Hold on. Like, hold on a hot ticker here. Would there be anywhere around here that I could set up a campfire without getting too low? I mean... I could go down, I guess. Can I do it here? Oh, probably not. Oh, no. Crap. Really? There's nothing here for me to climb onto. It's really just going to be like that. Really going to do me like that? Really? Okay, well. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, I'm a... <laughs> Welp, if only it wasn't raining. Really? Really? Hey look, a Korok balloon. Now, if only I could actually get up here, but I doubt it. Even though this is clearly under the bridge. And there shouldn't be rain here. I hate this game. What the heck? What in the hot, crispy Kentucky fried? Okay, I'll go here. And there shouldn't be any rain. I swear, if I fell in the water from there, that would not have been... That would not have been great. I didn't, did I? What is this camera angle? How is it raining here? It's clearly under the bridge. The rain is falling through the freaking bridge. What the heck? But that's not the flame blade. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to start a fire. I mean... Yeah, because this all makes perfect sense. I mean... I guess we could try starting one from the tower itself? I guess? And then come over here? Do I really want to do this right now? Well, we start, I may as well see this through to the end. And then probably wrap up the stream. Most likely. Perfect dodge. Isn't that crazy? Like, I should be able to... Here, right? Okay. Okay. Sit until night. And now there's no way I get a bomb launch back as good as the first one that I had over there. That bomb launch was incredible. There's no way I get another one that good. So, it's night. Let's see here. What? Well, so much for that. We'll try again in midair here, I guess. I suck at this game. My goodness. Do I suck at this game? Let's try that again. There we go. 
Oh, not quite the right angle. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I suck in this game. And it's loading because it was very confused about Link moving that fast. So I have to look from here at night. For some, like, red star or something? Oh. This? Do I shoot it with an arrow? What? Okay, that just impacts like that. Okay, well. No! Link, why? This game sucks. <laughs> What the heck? I wanted to bomb launch it, but he did the freaking animation of diving. <laughs> I wanted to bomb launch it and make my way over. Hi, you wanna maybe not? I'm just gonna, just so that this can recharge and such. Never mind. There we go, jeez. Let me out of here, thank you. Jeez. Most unnecessary bomb launch ever. Whatever. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm over it at this point. Whee! You wanna, like, not? Excuse me? I'm doing things. I'm doing stuff and junk over here. Like, I'm busy. Leave me alone. Oh my goodness, I didn't even set up the shock trap successfully. No, you took my thunder blade? I need that. I was trying to shock trap you. My goodness. Freaking. I'm gonna need this shield. I'm gonna need it. There. Get close to this thing. I dare ya. I dare ya. Do it! Yeah, just come close to my trap. How about... Okay, I'm gonna open this now. Oh, that's a cool look for the chest, isn't it? Salvager headwear. Swim speed up. Collaboration with the Oblique Chronicles 2. Essential gear used by a boy who seeks sunken treasure in the Cloud Sea. It's a rather rare find. Okay, I'm a... Uh... I'm gonna take these now, thanks. Welp, uh... Okay, what are the other things? What are the other thingamabobs? Um... Okay, stars left to southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge. The eastern sky from the skull's left eye? The only skull that I can think of on the map is... This one, right? Skull Lake? <laughs> My goodness. Like, it's gotta mean that skull, right? I know that there's, like, a lot of skull monster forts, but it's gotta surely mean this skull here? Probably? Since this is, like, the actual place on the map that has a skull clearly on the map, you know? Hmm. From the skull's left eye. So like, wait, it's left or the left looking at it? Probably it's left. This is its right eye. I'm dumb. It's left most likely, not the... Not the left from looking at it at the map, right? Probably, especially considering this is like high up. So... Well, it's the night. Let's see here. The eastern sky from the skull's left eye. North, so east is this way. It's from the skull's left eye. Oh. Well, okay then.
Well, okay then. Yeah, yeah, Ravali. I'm bad at this game. Holy crap. I suck. <laughs> Man, if I could just get bomb launches consistently. I could never be a speedrunner with this game. Like... <laughs> I can do all kinds of glitches in this game, but never consistently. I don't think I could ever be a freaking Breath of the Wild speedrunner. I don't know if I could ever be a speedrunner of any game. I'm not one too certain about that. Well, I mean... Probably should have done this earlier. Probably should have done this earlier. Let's head up this way. That's what we do. Up we go. So, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 stuff, apparently, huh? Oh, you just clearly spawned in, didn't you? Didn't you? Okay. What have we here? Salvager Vest. Collaboration Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Essential gear used by a boy who seeks sunken treasure in the Cloud Sea. It's a rather rare find. So, the last one. So, we're collecting those. Let's see here. The southeastern sky from the peak of a tall, pierced, snowy mountain. That could mean a few different mountains. Tall, pierced, snowy mountain, huh? Isn't this one, like, underground, though? If I teleport to this one? I think I had a webpage open for it anyway to, like, double check. Let's see here. Southeastern sky from the peak of a tall, pierced mountain is on the top of Heber Peak, so I was correct about that. But I think if I go to this shrine, I think that it's, like, underground. I think. I'm not completely certain. That's a crazy looking chest, isn't it? A really crazy looking chest, huh? Very effective. You keep a fairy impact. I think I just realized why all the other ones are labeled EX, but the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 one isn't. All the other ones are, like, stuff with the paid DLC, I guess. And I think that the Xenoblade 2 stuff was just purely, you know... Stuff that was added on to the game afterwards. Yeah, I am underground. So if we go here, then maybe we could go up to the peak. And it said like the southeastern sky, I think? I think it did. I'm not completely certain. We can always double check. We can always double check. I mean, not that big a deal. So I should also... Where is my Santa Link stuff? There's a Santa Link thing. I keep mixing up my buttons. It really has been forever since I played this. My goodness. All right, so let's put a stamp there. A stimp. A stimp as we like to call it in the 3D world playthrough. And then... Yeah, let's try this. Let's see if we can go up the mountain this way, maybe. Maybe this will be the key to scaling the mountain. Maybe, we'll see. Gorsh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, let's maybe get onto a little bit better of terrain here. And then try this? Hmm. I mean, we have plenty of meat anyway, if I recall. Oh. Oh. To the top of Hebra Peak, huh? Whoa. So we can scale the mountain this way, I think. Probably. Oh. Yeah, it, it seems promising. It definitely seems promising. And still the night. It says 2.40 a.m. Okay, we'll just climb up this way. I heard that. I heard it, I think. I think I heard it. Hey, look, there's... I didn't know there was northern lights in this game. I heard it. I hear it. Where? There it is. Kaboom. Well. Let's get there, I guess. Oh! Oh, was that a perfect shot? It was really close and my fall stopped prematurely, unfortunately, because that's the way this game be. That was a really good shot, though. Let's face it. That was an incredible shot. Salvager Trousers. Collaboration with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Essential gear used by a boy who seeks sunken treasure in the Cloud Sea. They are a rather rare find. Nice. So we got the whole Xenoblade Chronicles 2 set now. Is the thing. 
I think we'll go check at the... Yeah, we completed Xenoblade Chronicles 2. As we already have on this channel, technically. But with playing that this game on that channel two years ago now. That was 2019. Time flies, doesn't it? Time really flies. Jeebus. Pushing objects. Barrels and boxes can be pushed around. We'll use this to do something. Who knows? So let's check it out. I mostly just wanted to get away from those monsters first. Was also the thing. So let's see here. Look at that. Set bonus swim speed up. Oh my goodness. The helmet kind of clips through the shield. But what you gonna do? We got Rex's salvaging gear. I think that's actually kind of cool. And I think that that's a really cool like tie-in to have. What with, you know, how many developers of Monolith Soft were working on Breath of the Wild, you know? Like maybe that was Nintendo's way of saying like, Hey Monolith Soft, thanks for, you know, making so much of the world of Breath of the Wild. We'll give you some advertising for your game in here. You know? Maybe, maybe. That could have been it. I don't know. That's Yoink Dias. Because I mean... As far as I'm aware, that's the only, like, side quest for a costume from another game series that was just added to the game like that. So it probably has something to do with Monolith Soft having worked on this game, is the thing. Yeah, let's yoink a bunch of things while we're here. Always gotta collect lots of thingamabobs. Yoink, thank you. Gotta add them into my inventory. It's very strange seeing Link like this. I mean, we could always... Do this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him go. My goodness. And now Pyra and Mithra are in Smash. Not Rex, but Pyra and Mithra. And I'm actually kind of glad about that. Ready to help. You've come here again. Okay, let me see your clothes. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the max. So I can be enhanced. Can the special stuff of like Xenoblade 2 be enhanced? That sucks. That really sucks. Yeah, all these kinds of things cannot enhance. Oh yeah, I need ancient cores for like that stuff, don't I? Dang. Because we have like so many of all the other materials. But uh, I need to do like that one guardian glitch again, except for ancient cores or something. My goodness. I have to take up more Lynels and stuff for that. Let's see here, we can increase the climbing boots. Maybe I'll turn off this camera because, you know, it blocks the materials and stuff. Hmm. Sure, enhance the climbing boots. Sure, go ahead and do that. Sounds good to me. There, from three to five. Not that big of a difference, and it's only... I can't believe I never did the... First thing Bob there. Yeah, we'll just keep that as is. My freaking Santa Link hood. Yeah, let's improve our rubber stuff. Yellow Lizalfo's tail. I guess if you wanted to max a lot of armor, you would need to, like, really do a lot of grinding when it comes to this game. Certainly seems to be the case. Just in case I use it for any thumbnail reasons, I probably won't, but... Turn off both cameras, I guess, if one is off anyway. We can get everything to... Oh no, we can't get everything here to... Two stars. We can get this to two stars. Sure. Sure, do that. Enhance it. It was successful. There we go! Work on, uh, that as well. Work on the rubber things. Maybe I should put shock traps all over the place for some skirmish and then put on the rubber stuff and not have to worry about it. Could be a play. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when the next time I'm going to pick up this game is going to be. Because again, I basically just, you know, hopped into this here because... Because <laughs> I was bored and I wanted to stream and stuff. So here we are. I feel like the, since the playthrough of Breath of the Wild is basically wrapped up, like we've beaten the game, we have over a hundred episodes in this game. I feel like the only times that I'll be coming back to it are times like this, where it's purely me, you know, <laughs> being bored and wanting to, wanting something to hop into. Is probably the thing. I don't know when the next time is gonna be. I'm sure it'll happen eventually. I'm sure of that, but I mean... Yeah, let's go ahead and increase the stuff. No, I don't need to see it. Yeah, it definitely seems like a bit of a grind. 
when it comes to armor stuff, doesn't it? Doesn't it now? Aww. Yeah, so that's all. That's all. Goodbye. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, cool looking stuff, but it's a shame that you can't enhance these kinds of things. They even have like the markings on the bottom of like the where the cleats come out and such. They, I mean, I guess they probably did just, you know, you link the model directly from Xenoblade 2 maybe, or at least, you know, edit it from there to fit Link and such. So what would I want my kind of standard look to be? What if I threw on pants like this just for like that itself bonus and then... I mean, there's armor and stuff. I do always like the hood. What would a default chest guard be like? <laughs> it's certainly a look, to say the least. Something like that. Nah, I don't like that. Eh, we could always go with that temporarily, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Not that. This can be our look for now. And next time I freaking come back to this game, I'm gonna be like, what the heck? Why do I look like this? Is honestly what's gonna happen by the next time that I come to this game. Again. My. Oh my. Welp. This has been a good couple hour session with Breath of the Wild. My goodness. Again, was not planning on streaming it tonight. I hopped into it because I was bored. I had fun breaking the game again as as we always do when hopping into this maybe if i do decide to like one day like do all the rest of the shrines or something like that maybe i take the time to learn some new glitches otherwise it's mostly me just coming back when i'm bored and coasting through with like the game breaking knowledge that i have in my current state and such you know <laughs> so i mean I mean, it is always fun to, you know, screw around with all the glitches I currently know. It will be fun to learn some more ones, but again, there's other games that I want to cover and stuff. I don't know, but that's gonna be where we wrap things up. So thanks all who stopped by for the shenanigans here, and I'm gonna go, like, pass out. So take care. See ya.